Today um, we are making deep dish pizza. What we have here is we have a um, Pampered Chef deep dish pan that we're going to be using to make our pizza. Right now I'm just we prepping everything. Uh, we never buy pizza anymore. We get our dough from Restaurant Depot. It's 24 balls of dough for $20. Uh, we buy the cheese, same spot. Um, and Lisa makes her own famous spaghetti sauce that we're going to put uh, in our deep dish pizza. So we'll just do a little bit of prep and then uh, let's get started. You ready? Yes, I am. I need okay. some of these onions when we're good to go. Okay, uh, what we're doing today is we're going to take our sausage and we're going to cut it. We're going to remove the skin and just going to peel it right off like this. We're going to peel the skin right off. That's the one. Same thing here, just be careful. We're probably cutting the wrong way, but peel the skin off like that. We're going to add this up. We're going to chop it up and break it up and put it into our uh, pizza. You can put it in raw. You can put it in raw, or uh, um, you don't have to cook it because it's going to cook uh, very well once it gets in the pizza itself. Okay, what I'm making is the sauce for the pizza. And if you come over here, you can look inside. I have my chopped up onions, some spices, Italian seasoning, oregano, garlic. And later on, I will add a little bit of uh, sausage and then start adding my sauce. I have the tomato puree and the crushed tomatoes. Okay, right now we're going to do our dough. We're going to get our flour. I like working on the counter. Get a little bit of flour on the counter. It's always have the, good to have a dark shirt when you're working on flour so you know where it's going. This is the dough that we get it from uh, Lucerto Foods and we get it from the restaurant. Oh, I like the one in uh, South Hackensack. They have a beautiful fish market there. We're going to take our dough and just going to work it here into like a big round uh, piece of dough. You want to flour it up good so it doesn't stick to the countertop. One thing you have to learn in this family when there's uh, one full blood Italian and a couple of uh, half breeds, I guess half breeds, and a uh, Irish and German is how to make pizza dough. But being that I'm Irish and German, I kind of cheat, so I'm going to use my rolling pin. And what I want to do is I want to roll this out nice and round, because I'm going to sink it down inside my pan, my round cooking pan. It's actually a stone, uh, it's a round stone that we and Once I get it to a, a decent size, then I can start working it. Okay, what we're doing here is we're going to take our pan, and we're going to just Lightly coat it with butter. Okay, pan's all greased. Now what we do is we take our dough and we're just going to fit it right over the top like that. We're going to sink it down inside so it kind of creeps up along the side. Let it fall nice and free right inside there. Nice and even. Throw it down like that. We want to get it right up against the edge. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is now you have this edge, I'm just going to peel this up and fold it up over the top and let it sit on the top, almost like a pie edge. Okay, help me out there, Mama. My assistant, Lisa. I like Mama likes to roll it. That's how we roll. Okay, we have some extra dough, so what we can do with these, we can just round them off. Make a nice little log, and we're just going to continue to stretch it. And we have a flour, and we're going to make some garlic knots. Okay, now we have a little bit of a long piece. We'll just break a piece off, and we're going to roll it like this. To get it even a little bit thinner. Like that pull, stretch and pull, stretch and pull. And then we just take this piece and we'll tie it in a knot. That's it. Right like that. There you go. Okay, I'm just about to add the uh, sauce to the pan. As you can see, I have I cooked my sausages in here. They'll finish cooking while they're in the sauce. 
along with the uh, onions and the seasonings will all blend together. One, two, and I might add two more cans. I'll have to see how this goes. Okay, this is the sauce that I cooked now. It's been cooking for a good uh, two hours, and it's just about ready. Okay, so we put our dough in our pan here, and before we put it into the oven, we want to make sure that we're going to take our dough and just squeeze it along the edge here, and just, just enough to make a nice, almost like a boat. You, and we have our Gigunda Big of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the bottom, spread it out a little bit. You need a lot more than that. Okay, a lot more she says. Okay, enough to cover the bottom of the dough. Okay, <laughs> Okay, we're going to take our sauce. Oh, we don't want the sausage that's in it. We're just going to take one big, nice, generous scoop and start <laughs> scooping it around here. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this thing up with all kinds of good stuff. Throw some onions in. And it's almost like you're making a pie, like a regular cake pie. And then we're just filling it up. You see what I mean by the blue shirt? See where you know how much good of a cook you are and how much flour flies around the kitchen. So we'll just keep doing that. Okay, now we're going to take our sausage, nice big chunks of sausage. Like I said, you don't have to cook this sausage ahead of time. It'll cook uh, in, the, uh, in the oven when you're making your pie. Okay, we have our sausage in there now. We're going to add another generous layer of cheese on the top. So we're going to layer with cheese sauce, cheese sauce, sausage, onion, all kinds of stuff. Remember, proper etiquette when you're cooking, or even at the dinner table, you can crack your knuckles, but you can't knuckle your crack. So just remember that one. Okay, a little more sauce. We're going to add that across the top. Actually, let's add a little more. Like a lot of sauce. Just going to throw that right on there. Let it seep into the nooks and crannies. Spin it around the top. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, uh, we're going to pop this in the oven for about 400 degrees, probably for about uh, half an hour. Uh, we'll look at the half crust. Half we'll, yeah, half an hour, 40 minutes. We'll see the crust start to rise. You can peel the crust away later on and uh, see if it's nice and brown. Throw this in. Top shelf. Bingo. Now Lisa's going to show you what we did with the garlic knots. All I have here is the garlic knots. I put my olive oil and then I'll add my uh, garlic and some oregano, parsley. What I want to do is coat them. Make sure they're fully coated before I throw them in the oven. And these will bake for about 15 minutes. Okay, I got the coating. This is the garlic. have some, it's called Tuscany blend, sprinkle a little bit, this has like four, four different time seasonings in it. Okay, let's take a look, Whoa, how nice that is. Fifteen minutes. Is that fifteen minutes in? Yay, buddy. Okay, what we can do is we can take a spatula or some type of uh, uh, kitchen tool and we just want to go in here and we want to peel it back and just look. You see it's a little bit light still. We want to get it a little bit darker than that, so we're going to push it back in. Gotcha. And uh, we'll check in about 10 minutes. I oh. give it. Okay, we're going to take this out now. It's been cooling for a little while. What you want to do is you just want to let it hang off the edge just a, a little mm -hmm. bit so you can grab have something good to grab on. We're going to go around the entire edge with our cake knife. Okay. Real tricky, just you want to go up and underneath it, kind of, peel, kind of peel it up, get up underneath there, and just, you know, 
I want to plop the whole thing right out onto the table. Nice. Beautiful. Yay. Okay, that is such a beautiful hunk of pizza. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this now. Got my nice big cleaver. Cut right into it. And it's level to be a little bit gooey, but it's going to be so good. Look at that. Mmm. That is definitely a knife and a fork pie. Bon Appetit from Young Creations. I hope you enjoy. You'll never order pizza again.